As y'all can see, I'm only one win away from 20 here in this new event. So I guess we're going for 520 or more likes on the video. Subscribe if you're not already on the road to 100,000 subscribers. In the comment section below, let me know if either or both of these two event rewards are cars that you're going to be going after. For me, I love Hannes Wagner. I love his cards. And he's definitely being on that Polo Grounds team that's hopefully coming in the next week or two. Steve Ciszek. I don't have bullpen guys. I need arms for my bullpen. 100 and hits per nine. This early on in the year is going to be super great. 90 velocity, 97 break, 85 control, plus a really good pitch selection. A sinker slider, four seam splitter, and a changeup. That's just insane to me. And I feel like this is going to carry my bullpen, especially being a side armor or whatever his motion's kind of funky like. But I feel like both of these should be really solid for my team, but especially Steve Ciszek. But with that being said, we are one win away from Hannes Wagner. I've actually already won 12 games in this event, as y'all can see with the cam right there. If you win 12 games in a single entry, you get a live series 85 through 89 overall diamond. I actually got Bryce Harper. So real quick, and I don't mean to take a lot of y'all's time before we hop into the gameplay, but if we go ahead and go over to the Phillies, it's going to just take a second here. That's my bad. I got Bryce Harper. That's 20,000 stubs that I'm not going to have to spend now. I felt like that was pretty sick to see for me, and I didn't even realize. I was just playing the event for fun. All of a sudden, that happened. So we're 6-1 right now, trying to get six more wins, but specifically, we really want to win at least one game today, secure at least one diamond today in this video i just realized when i was selecting a pitcher my entire team is gassed we're playing the toronto blue jays he has kevin gosman where the away team so we're hitting first but i think y'all might have seen a video literally from earlier today where it was an extra innings game and because of that game and one other game my entire rotation my entire bullpen is practically dead nobody has any energy so this one might be a little bit tough if my opponent seems decent at the plate. Oh, we miss. Woo. Yo. Uh, we're early. We got to get our timing down. Stanton, we got our timing down. What? 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 Oh, man. That's a lazy fly out. Oh, my God. What is going on? Wait, wait, wait. I just got to see this one more time. That's a. Oh. Uh, that's not a bad swing. Missed that one with Corey Seager. Man, we got some pitches to hit, but couldn't get the PCI placement down. Couldn't get the timing down. It just wasn't a great inning for us at the plate. I'm hoping it's a great inning for us on the mound. AJ Burton has been doing solid for me, but at the same time, I've been having a hard time putting people away with him. He's not really been a strikeout guy for me. He's been more of a pitch to contact, let your defense take care of it type of guy for me. What? And then Brian Reynolds goes yard. I uh, I hung a change up there. I think I'm gonna take AJ Burnett out. I'm just not pitching too well with him right now. I uh, I'm not I'm not hitting my spots. Uh, we jammed him. It, it, it's an inside pitch that he's clearly late on, but it's going for a hit. There's that double play ball. Striking out Kyle Tucker. If we can get out of this inning with only two runs allowed, I think I have a chance to win this game. But that's going to be the tough thing is getting out of it with two runs allowed. There we go. Striking him out. Yo. If he's chasing pitches like he just did in these last two ABs, I have no business giving up two home runs. But we'll, we'll see the rest of the game how my pitching goes. I got a hit, to say the least. We don't even have a hit yet. Sean Murphy, we missed it. I'm glad I still got good timing, but we got to get that PC out of the ball. Oh, we're early. Ooh. What, how early was I? Oh, not even that early. 106 off the bat. Wow. There we go. No, we're under it. <gasps> I am throwing this game. I, I am just missing so many of these. I, I, I really hope we can pick it up. I only got four rounds left to work with, though. We're running out of time pretty quick. Joey Gallo hit it too early. Hey, man, as long as we pitch, don't allow any runs, I, I feel like I can maybe lock in and uh, and come back in the top of the third inning. We're going to try our best. We're no matter what getting the diamond in this video. 100% I'm no matter what getting that diamond in the video, but it's just... We're going to see how long it takes us. Stanton should make the play for round number one. Almost missed it, though. What is he doing? 
Is the sun blinding him? We gotta get that roof closed, please. Andrew Benintendi for round number two. There we go. Okay. Gotta score at least two. If I don't score at least two, we lose the game. It's it's simple as that. We're gonna do our best with what we have. We got Jordan Alvarez, Matt Olson, and then a pinch hitter. I'm hoping we don't see a left-handed pitcher here. I would not be surprised if we did, but we don't. Devin Williams in a screwball is nasty, but I'm gonna hopefully get something to drive. I'm gonna hopefully lock him right now. Jordan on top with the first one, bro. We are just missing these. I have a feeling next game, assuming we don't win this one, is going... Either way, I think we're going to get another game, even if we do win this one. But I have a feeling next game, I'm going to be smacking the baseball like nobody's business. I'm just missing them right now. I don't think that's going to happen two games in a row. Matt Olson, we're just early on that one. Wow. Matt Olson, there we go. Wait, we're late. No, man. I got a fastball. I should have been sitting fastball. I don't know why. I don't know what I was sitting, to be honest, but... That's a pitch I got to destroy. Down in my final out, we get a pinch hitter going. I'm in danger of having, I think, a perfect game thrown against me. Oh, that's kind of embarrassing a little bit. Uh, I hope it gets down. It doesn't look like it's going to, though. Oh, it did? Okay. Yo, Freddie Freeman, ground rule double. Tying runs in the at the plate in the form of Lindor. Nice. Nice, Lindor. Hey. We came back, baby. Sick. Um, I'm going to... Am I going to replay it if it's 500 feet? It's not 500, though. It's 442. I, I would like to see it again, though. Uh, for, for myself, just so our opponent doesn't have to sit through it, I just kind of want to want to see something like this, maybe. Like, you know, maybe, maybe like this angle. And just kind of take a look at it. Make, make me sure we're not blocking Lindor. Let me, uh, let me do right here. Let's watch it fly. God, that's beautiful, man. Wow. Oh, that's in the second deck, too, tying the game. That's sick. 3-0 to Stanton. I was expecting something down the middle. We didn't get it. Ball four. Corey Seager coming up now. I would really expect a lefty here. Yeah, there's Chappie. I'm going to try to do some damage, but it's hard, man. My entire, my entire lineup is practically lefties for the most part, except for two or three. And uh, it's always tough when my opponents bring a lefty in. Corey Seager goes yard. Hey. And our opponent quits before it even lands. Yo, so we secured the diamond, dog. Hey, that's the fast. That's not the fastest. That's one of the fastest I've ever seen anybody quit, is what I'm trying to say. Like, that dude got out of there in a hurry, bro. He's like, oh, I got to turn this off. <laughs> oh, man. So we got the diamond. I kind of feel like getting more gameplay in the video. Uh, just, just playing a couple more. One, two. We'll see how many more. Kind of depends on how this game goes, how long it takes. But at least one more game coming for y'all in the video. I've been playing at the Nationals ballpark. I feel like it has a nice mix. You know, the ball kind of flies out of there, but it's not a hitter-friendly park by any means. So I feel like this is just kind of a nice mix a little bit. My bullpen is actually a lot better. You can see loops and energy from that last game. But when your opponents quit, it seems like that really helps your team's stamina. We're going to get Steven Strasburg going in this game. Try to get another one in this video. Let's see what the lineups are looking like. We are the away team again. Opponent has Shane Bieber. Bryce Harper leading off. I don't think I faced Shane Bieber, honestly, really ever. Except I think maybe he had an all-star card or something last year that I saw once or twice. I'm not going to lie. I've been watching a lot of the Phillies this year just because I really like Harper. I love me some Schwarber. I love Nick Castellanos. So I've just been kind of watching some more Phillies games than I feel like I usually do. And their ballpark, for one, is really growing on me, both in the game and in real life. I love it. But their uniforms, I don't know what it is. Like, the the, the red pinstripes, just the, the clean Phillies, the red hat with the P. Like, something about the Phillies uniforms in their ballpark is just really growing on me, man. I don't know what it is, but I'm falling in love with the Phillies a little bit, and I don't know how to feel about it. Stanton, oh... I hate missing pitches that closely. I really do. I know I should have killed it. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I don't swing at that pitch. I just don't. What a bad inning. And one of the reasons I think I'm liking the Phillies so much is just because I've been following Bryce Harper literally when I was like 10 years old or something. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not that long ago, but when I was a kid, I had a video on YouTube pop up about this superstar young kid I, I think he was only like maybe 14 15 years old at the time something like that maybe 16 but he, he was definitely not older than 16 and it was about this kid named Bryce Harper who was going to be like the next superstar 
and uh and ever since then i was kind of following him he always had these like little milestones going to junior college getting drafted all that good stuff and bryce harper's just always been one of my top favorite players definitely like a top 20 top 30 guy all the time for me in terms of my personal favorite players just i've been following following him for so long right i've known who he was since way before he was in the bigs and it's just kind of been cool to follow along his journey and i have really grown to love him in a phillies uniform man i, I feel like it just fits him I, I feel like he really rocks that phillies uniform well i feel like it fits him and uh, i feel like he gives the crowd which could be a tough love type of crowd sometimes i feel like he's done a good job at giving the crowd what they want to see over the past few years so i don't know man i'm, I'm falling in love with philly i'm falling in love with shelfie which happened a few years ago and uh and it's just been a good time i hope you all don't mind this little personal <laughs> rants uh tangent whatever you want to call it but it's just I, I saw the phillies uniforms i saw the ballpark and it just kind of popped into my head a little bit as brandon lyle makes us go back to back right there you love to see it and gallo it would have been ball four i wanted to swing just to try to keep the streak of homers alive if i had good timing i think we would have smacked it still but a little bit early we can't be pulling that outside pitch you're done that was a power swing too wow on top of it, out number two, big sad. I love Jordan. Jordan's another. I would say Jordan is is. It's hard for me to say because I would really have to do a list. He's definitely in my top fifty current favorite players. I would say probably top twenty or thirty too. But I would just actually have to make that list. Yo, I might do that on my Twitch stream, Twin Gaming TV on there. Three and zero. Oh, we're swinging away with Matt Olson. Matt Olson's got a glitchy swing. I love Matt Olson's swing. I'm really tempted to honestly use him on my live. Uh, my ranked seasons team, but my only issue is my biggest issue is with doing that is I already have cover athlete Ryan Howard and I just don't think I want to take Ryan Howard off my team. Oh Baby Freddie Freeman Wow, this look at that 519 average. I am 15 for whatever with now. I think 10 homer seven homers with the card. Oh That's insane. I should maybe be using Freddie Freeman as a starter. Holy Oh, Lindor, what am I doing? I got a little lucky there, I think. Lindor's doing good, too. Nearly 400 average. Wow. Stanton, wait, what is Stanton's? Stanton is, uh, is 492. Oh, my God. Stanton trying to get his average to 500. It was 492 before that right there. I ran on Acuna, which was stupid, but he throws the second instead of third. Corey Seager, that's going to get down. He's, uh, he's batting four something for me as well. Sean Murphy, get out, ball, please. 96 power. He's been so good for me, too. Just missed it, man. Warning check, power. That's the ballpark for you. That's a home run in a lot of other ballparks, but we're seeing the ball pretty well today. I didn't warm anybody up. Yo, wait, wait, wait. Let me see some warm up. No. Okay, so I'm going to sit him down. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Pay attention to his stamina in the top once we get him going. So I'm going to do stretch and toss, and then I'm going to do warm up. Oh. Never mind, I lied. Wait, it, it just showed. Y'all saw that it was full red. Wait, did y'all see what I'm talking about? It was it was literally full red. So do you not need to actually warm up relievers now, or did I just do something special? Because right when I was putting him in, it switched to him being fully warmed up. Did y'all see that? One batter, one out. That's the ballpark, man. In a high elevation park, I think that would have been a nuke. Oh. I just realized, like... That's a double. That's a good pitch, man. Short around number two. Tommy Edmund tries to pull it. That Tommy Edmund, if you are swinging at like an inside pitch, he just launches it. The outside pitches are where that card struggles with. But if you're pulling the, like an inside pitch with that Tommy Edmund card, I've had some success with him. Also, this is probably going to sound dumb, but one of the nice things about having a lot of lefties on this team, like literally is Brandon Lau, Gallo, Alvarez, and I think we got more. Yeah, following him is Matt Olson. So it's four lefties in a row. One of the nice things about that is when my opponents bring in a lefty, I feel like because it's the event, it's not that stressful. So I feel like I'm getting some really good practice in lefty v lefty. I feel like I'm getting a lot of good looks and a lot of good swings lefty-lefty, even with maybe smaller PCIs, maybe even faster pitches. I feel like I'm just getting some good looks, and, and, and honestly, yo, 420 blaze, and I'm honestly getting like a lot of, uh, I feel like a lot of just good swings in against left-handed pitching and having some good ABs. 
Oh my god, look at these. 97 mile an hour fastball. We're very early on and on the outside part of the plate too. Full count to Joey Gallo. Ball four. Having some good ABs. Getting a lot of good practice in. Lefty lefty. Your Don, please get out. Let's go, man. Oh, and, and, and once we're sitting that fastball, that 100 mile an hour fastball from Chappie, it makes that splitter, even though it's 90, it makes that splitter so much easier to time up. And our opponents quit. Hey, <laughs> yo, we're hitting we're hitting the ball pretty well. If if I'm gonna be real, we got win number 21 in this event. I'm only four away from getting the other reward. That's gonna be it for the gameplay in this video, just because I got three other videos that I gotta do. Uh, I, I got somebody coming by the crib to look at some stuff later today. So I just got some stuff going on. I still want to get a stream in. I got probably a family dinner. So I just don't have another time to get more gameplay. But I feel like what we had was pretty good. I feel like this was a good video. I Hopefully it was an entertaining video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, social media, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.